Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AvrielR32 here. What is going on you guys? I have a special deck profile for you guys, and it is the one, the only, everybody's favorite deck, Goat Control. Dot dot dot. Sort of. <laughs> That's right you guys, uh, I found this deck actually from a writer on TCG Player, and I, I was reading through the article, and it actually makes uh, a lot of sense, and it's also really budget, so if you're if you happen to be a budget player, uh, this is definitely the deck for you. It only costs about $75, he said. Just because pretty much none of this stuff is in demand right now. Uh, even BLS, I mean, unless you're going for the highest rarity, uh, which will be like 70 to 80 right there. But enough of me talking. Let's get into the deck list, and I'll explain everything as I go along. Uh, so we have three Battle Fader, one BLS, two Chaos Sorcerer, three Cyber Valley, two Dijin Releaser of Rituals, two Effect Veiler, one Magician of Faith, three Manju, two Max C, three Tour Guide, three Relinquished, um, for the spells, we have two Black Illusion Ritual, two Creature Swap, a Dark Hole, two MST, one One for One, three Preparation of Rites, three Scapegoat, and Treacherous Trap Hole for your single trap. So, you're probably saying, Avery, this isn't Goat Control, this is pretty much Piper Chaos with Relinquished without the Mystic Piper. Well, yes, you could say that, um, and I will give you credit for that. Um, but the fact is, is that... Uh, what what the writer called is what the writer called the stack is that is it the same concept as goat control back in 2003 or two th why, 2003 ugh, 2005 no it's not um, obviously but the fact is that you have the spirit of goat control in this in a sense because of the fact that you have triple uh, scapegoat um, and magician of faith it brings back the quote unquote spirit of the deck so to speak so. Uh, as you can tell, most of these are uh, Piper Chaos chosen cards. Um, Cyber Valley is really good in this deck. Uh, for the main reason being is that you can just play the Scapegoat at your opponent's end phase, or if they try to attack you, you can just go Scapegoat, have your defense out, play out the Cyber Valley. And typically, uh, you know, first of all, the, the neat thing about Cyber Valley is that your opponent tries to attack it, you can banish it, get a free draw in the battle phase, and you're just constantly drawing through your deck. That's the thing you want to do the first three turns or so with this deck, is that you just want to keep on drawing and drawing and drawing to get to your combo pieces um, and be able to set up the field. Uh, the n neat thing about Cyber Valley, though, and what is really the uh, shoe-in in this deck, so to speak, is that, like I said, you can play the Scapegoat, play Cyber Valley, banish Cyber Valley in a token and draw two. Now, yes, you're wasting your normal summon, and it would seem to make it a uh, two for two even, but essentially you are capitalizing on your card economy uh, in the sense that, yes, you lost your normal summon, but you lost a useless little scapegoat, which doesn't really matter. Uh, so, in a sense, you just plus three in your card economy, which is super, super nice. Manju, of course, gets you to your Relinquished and your uh, Black Illusion Ritual. In case you guys don't remember what uh, Dijin Release of Ritual does, is that whenever you Ritual Summon a Ritual Monster using him, uh, you can remove and play this card from your graveyard as one of the monsters required for the Ritual Summon. So since uh, Relinquish is a level 1, he's a level 3, he can be used as the whole Ritual Summon. And then while the, while the monster Ritual Summoned is on face up on the field, your opponent can't Special Summon. Uh, which actually ties in really well with Mech Equipped Engineer, which you run 2 of, because you could have, say, a Relinquish on board, and then you could also have the mech equipped engineer on board, and your opponent tries to uh, blow up the relinquish. You can just be like, nope, detach, switch relinquish to defense, and now he can't be destroyed by battle by card effects for the rest of his turn. Preparation of rights is also another neat way to uh, thin through your deck and chug through your deck to get to your combo pieces because uh, it lets you add a level 7 or lower ritual monster card from your deck. So relinquished, and then once that works, you can add to your hand of ritual spell. So you constantly have ways to drop relinquish, which is really, really nice. And then the scapegoats to help for defense, and the treacherous trap hole to simplify the game. Um, tour guide is also really nice because, of course, Dijin release of, ri of rituals is a level three fiend, so you can go summon tour guide, drop Dijin, uh, exceed into something, whether it be Zen Mains, Levier, Leviathan, Engineer, Giga Brilliant, or uh, even Fortune Tune. Fortune Tune is also really good as well. Uh, in case you guys don't know what this does is during each of your standby phases, you gain 500 life points. Cute, right? This card cannot be targeted by card effects. If this face-up card would be destroyed, you can detach and seize material from this card instead. So he gets, so he tries to get destroyed, you can just detach that that oh my god, <laughs> sorry, that Dijin you just used. It's so hard to say that for some reason. 
Uh, and then when he's sent from the field of the grave, you can target two level three monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them both in the de into the deck, and if you do return this card from your graveyard into the extra deck, and then you can only use one forty nine fortune two once per turn. So this card allows you to recycle your relinquishes. It allows you to recycle your uh, tour guides. It allows you to recycle your Dejins. It's really really nice. Um, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. I don't think it lets you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It doesn't let you recycle the relinquish. It lets you recycle the tour guides and the Dejins, which is really nice late game. And especially once you already have control of the board with relinquish, my equip engineer just pretty much guarantees you the the victory. So moving on to the extra deck, we have one formula. It is possible because you're using uh, Effect Veiler to so combine that with Battle Fader or, or even for some reason if you really need to, a Relinquished. Um, Miss Bird Colossus, Ally Justice Cataster, Stardust. For the Exceeds, we have one Slacker Magician, one Zen Mains, one Levier, one Leviathan, two Mech Equipped Engineer, a Giga Brilliant, a Fortune Tune, a Tim Tempo, a Diamond Dire Wolf, and a May Stroke. Uh... Just real quick to also talk about more about the card economy, besides uh, Cyber Valley, when you do combine it with Cyber Valley and Scapegoat, you're essentially making a uh, Pot of Greed, which is, of course, super cool. Uh, and besides Max C, yes, you don't really have a lot of other ways to draw through your deck, but you also have ways to search through it, like Manju, uh, you have Magician of Faith to get back your stuff, uh, like Scapegoat to combine with the Cyber Valleys if you really need to, one for one to search through your deck to get to your Effect Veiler or whatever it is you need. Or even if for whatever reason you really have to special some Magician of Faith. Um, and the Chaos Sources, of course, they combo well because you have a good amount of lights and darks. Uh, and like I already talked about, Mech Equipped Engineer. So that is pretty much it, you guys. Uh, oh, and one more play I forgot to mention is that, obviously, Scapegoat Creature Swap is always amazing. <laughs> um but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of this, I guess you could call, new quote-unquote goat control. Like I said, it's not the actual goat control from 2004-2005 slash uh, format, but it's the fact that the spirit is there. Uh, you've got the, your Magician of Faith, you've got the three scapegoats, you've got the tour guides to really help back up your your plays. And like I said, the first three turns or so, you want to be you know drawing through your deck, trying to find the correct combos. Uh, so that you're able to really control the game and kind of slow roll your opponent to make them waste their resources. But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, rate, comment, most importantly, subscribe.